are such an asshole! Asshole gets old, how you guys doing? Had to put together a <clears throat> makeshift office because we're on the road. It's where I belong. Alright. A young man writes a lengthy one, so pour yourself a drink. <clears throat> and uh, military veterans, active, current veteran, active or not, uh, you, you get a discount. Hi Aaron, I will do my best to be succinct, but a lot of what I'm about to say is imperative information. Need to understand my situation, provide sufficient advice. Advice is useless without context. I'm a 20 year old veteran who was honorably discharged due to medical condition. I'm now using my 911 GI Bill to attend college and major in chemical engineering, though I'm majoring in computer information systems for the time being because this university doesn't have a chemical engineering. Long story, but I plan on doing school online and transferring in the near future. I come from a very abusive household. I was born to a, quote, mother. I can honestly call it, I can't honestly call it that after what happened to me, who did crack cocaine, cannabis, and God knows what else, and had sex with a drug dealer who was married to another woman at the same time and had me out of wedlock. I don't know why there's poor people. You know, it must be bigotry and racism and sexism and discrimination. It really has got to be that. Can't possibly being the wrong people having way too many fucking kids. <clears throat> I do not know if she performed drugs in the early stages of pregnancy, but I heard from other family members she didn't know. <laughs> Side note, my family often told me the reason she didn't give me up for adoption is because they didn't want me to be in the system. Yeah, because why would you want to have a shot at a nuclear family that would actually give a shit about you and not themselves? I did not know what that meant at the time, but now that I am older, I think they just didn't want to get caught because if they gave me up for adoption, they wouldn't have asked questions. Why are you giving up your kids? Uh, drug, what kind, miss, you know, that is illegal, right? Who knew and who sold them to you, etc. I don't understand that. It's perfectly legal to give your kid up for adoption. Perfectly legal. And a moral thing to do if you're not going to have an abortion. If you don't have the balls to abort, she, they, I'll tell you why your, your mom kept you. Welfare, WIC, EBT, and Section 8. That's why she kept you. There's the answer. I was, quote, raised by my great-grandmother... <laughs> My actual grandmother died due to drug overdose. Before I was born, my, my mother was four, who was a severe alcoholic. She had seven kids, of course, and used to abuse them. I don't know to what extent, but physical and psychological abuse was definitely involved. Having kids you can't afford, that's abuse. That is abuse. That right there is abuse. Let me guess, nobody knows who the fucking fathers are around on this one, too, I bet. Was the, was the father available for... I'm not slamming you. I'm just trying to point out what evil, vile, disgusting people these people are. They, they just... They're, they are too stupid to, wear protect, to use protection and go on birth control. And I think they are malicious and evil enough to just use you kids as a means to collect government money. Period. No more complicated than that because these fucking cunts are not as smart enough to come up with anything more complicated than that. It's just free gimme dats. That's all this was. And you poor kids have been paying the price. <clears throat> um, I was allowed to and only ate french fries and chicken McNuggets from McDonald's or Burger King every day until I was 14. That is night hyperbole. I believe it. Every day. I was very skinny and short and picked on every day in school until the ninth grade. Even the nerds used to beat me up and make fun of me. When I got home, I had to deal with my grandmother's drunken stupor and clean up her feces into a bucket. Oh, the, it's great when you replace the father with a government check, isn't it? We don't need no nuclear families, right? This is what daddy government does. This is, this is how good of a father and family socialism leads to. Long story short, I had a horrific childhood. The kid, this is the, this is the worst story I've heard, and I've heard some pretty bad stories. I believe you. I believe you 100%. And hardly any supervision guidance or strong, positive male role models in my life. When I was 14, I moved to Maryland, originally from New York, to live with my mother and half-sister, <laughs> of course, and her beta male cuck tyrant of a husband. When I was 14, I did a complete 180 and got into martial arts, even taught it at one point despite being a brown belt, drastically improved my diet to where I don't eat fast food or junk at all anymore. Awesome! Gained muscle, got more confidence, obtained good grades for the remainder of high school. Highest GPA I got was a 4.08. What's with the... Oh, you can't... <clears throat> I know, you can get extra. When I was 17, I joined the U.S. Army and obtained a job in military intelligence at the NSA as a signals intelligence analyst. Had a 290-plus physical training score and did fairly well, all things considered, until I was discharged last year. I was forced to move back and my parents until school started 10 long months. For 10 long months. No, no. <clears throat> you weren't forced. You chose to. Don't you get a housing allowance? Didn't you save up any money? Did, you, you chose to. 
What are you doing? Don't you go get a job and find like somebody's couch, a buddy of yours' couch. That you don't you have some GI buddies that say, "Yeah, crash on my couch." Or, "Hey, my place is completely open because I'm deployed in freaking South Korea." You chose that, and you're smart too. You're smart. So what did you do that for? It gave me time to reflect on my past about my family. I read books on successful mindset, self improvement, philosophy, science, and it was around this time I stumbled across one of your videos. Simply brilliant, by the way. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm now in college, and I and I something mercilessly, and some I something mercilessly nagging at me. I need to cut ties with these people now. Let me explain. Since I am on my own, I don't have to contact them again for anything, really, with the exception of my mother to get off its phone plan. Um, but there are some tires, but there are some tirelessly bother me that there is something I need to say to each one of them before I cut ties. The truth. Nothing crazy, just an email or five minute call to confront them about my past. Let them know why I'm doing what I let them know why I why am doing dude, your writing is horrible. I don't how did you work at the end and say how'd you get a four point oh eight and then this writing I mean maybe you just didn't spell check right, but this writing is horrible. You're missing words. Nothing crazy, just an email or five minute call to confront them about my past. Let them know why I'm doing what and what they're doing and frankly tell them to fuck off. Unfortunately, I have done this before around summer. I was homeless living out of my car on Craigslist because I was sick of living with my abusive, manipulative parents. I made it for about a couple weeks before my car broke down and ran out of food and water. Dude, you're in the military. How do you, how do you run out of food and water? How do you not just get a job? What? I know you came from a, a, a horrendous background, but if you went through the military, your drill instructor must have beat some reality into you're working at the NSA, you get a 4.0, you turn this stuff around, you know logically you need to get a job. And then you crash on a buddy's couch. During this time, I contacted every family member tactfully about my past and why certain things occurred. I had my questions written out, looking to get answers, though I couldn't. So I couldn't even get past the first one before they started yelling at about even bringing it up. Yeah, because they don't want to know that they don't want to know that they're assholes. They, I'll tell you later, but <clears throat> nobody in your family is going to be of any worth or help. I don't know why you keep going back to them. That happened at least twenty times. So I wasn't just one family member. When I moved back, I was forced to apologize for being arrogant, condescending, and harassing. Dude, you just oh god, why did you go back? Even though I was very level-headed about the man I was trying to understand my past. My final question, you didn't even ask me a question. My final question is, how do I overcome my genetic programming to cut ties with my family? Objectively speaking, these are horrible, selfish, almost borderline psycho. No, they're not borderline. They are. And I'll tell you something else. With all the booze and the drugs that's been flowing around, they're not there, man. They're not there. This is... <clears throat> Let me paint an analogy or give you an example. You go to a party or a nightclub, although maybe this doesn't happen anymore. And there's a girl who's just, just drunk off her ass and she's flirting with you and hitting on you. And you're like, yeah, let's go back to my place. Or yeah, here's my number. Or yeah, let's make out. And then you try to either make out or you gave her her number or you're going to bring her back to her place uh, or your place, whatever. You bring her back to a place. And then they either ghost you. They're like, no, I don't want it. Or uh, they just don't, you're at the party, you're about to make out and then she runs off with some other guy. You're not dealing with a logical functional human being you're dealing with a brain stem that has the capacities and function to keep that person upright to keep them talking to have information come in for them to respond to you but not to keep it and incorporate it and form any kind of long-term uh, 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 principles morals ethics rules <clears throat> memory guidelines and structure you're talk you might as well be talking to, to, to this motorcycle glove I got here. You could talk to the motorcycle glove. You go ahead and talk to it. Say, hey, motorcycle glove, you really abused me and treated me like... This, this quite literally could be your mother. And you're going to have the exact same response. There's nothing there. Nothing. I got some family members like that been doing drugs and alcohol their entire lives. They're not there. They talk. They're able to interact. But their brain is so physically damaged, there's nothing there. You're not talking... Or like when... Another thing, work at security. You get somebody who's just bomb drunk. 
There's no reason to talk to that person. The only reason you do talk to that person is so other people around you see that you gave him or her every potential out before you maced them, cuffed them, or whatever, or grabbed them and threw them out. Because otherwise they come back, oh, you sold me, da, 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 da. So you say, excuse me, sir, do you have a ticket to this event? And fuck you, I'll kick your fucking ass. I'm sorry, sir, you feel that way, but you, you're trespassing if you don't have a ticket to this event. Well, fuck, kick your fucking ass, you little faggot, put your goddamn motherfucker. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Otherwise, you know, we're going to have to get the cops and you're going to get a record. And blah, blah, blah. Why, why don't you just go home? And I, you, you, I'm not saying that because he's, I'm trying to reason with him. I'm saying it because he's not listening. I know I'm going to mace the fucker. I know I'm going to chain him. I know the cops are going to grab him. I know he's going to go down to detox. I do it so everybody else around me knows, oh, hey, he, he gave him every possible out. He gave it, he told da, 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 da. So when the cops come, I'm not the one going to jail. It's the same thing. You're not, that's not a human. That's not a person. That is an entity. It's a thing that could still throw punches, by the way. But that's my whole point, okay? Your family, especially if your mom's been doing drugs, everybody's been doing drugs, and there are these douchebags that have used you guys. Oh, they're smart enough to use you for government checks. It's pointless to even rationalize or go in and, you know, I want to uh, have some amends made, and you really hurt me. This is not the Stefan Molyneux show. <laughs> this is, there's no one there. This isn't somebody you go and talk to like your parents goofed up, but they still care about you, and they might listen and be receptive. Your, your dad is not around. Your mom is simply not there. A corpse that you came out of the vagina of is there. Okay? It's still walking and talking, living on taxpayer money. That's what it is. There's no reason to even try and talk to it. It's, a, it's like the, 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 um, the flood in Halo. They're not there. I'll kill you, but they're not there. Okay, so not about. Finally, my question is how do I do over how do I overcome? You say how do overcome? My genetic programming cut ties with my family. Objectively speaking, these are horrible, selfish, almost borderline psychopathic people, and it's best to do so, but for the life of me, I cannot send the text message or make the phone calls. Dude, they don't deserve the text message or the phone calls. You want this closure you're not gonna get. You tried it before, you try to be honest with them. And you're frankly talking to a bunch of the flood with no brains, right? They've taken over uh, Federation people or the, or the um, not the Invid, who was the, oh, the, the Covenant. Right? They're not there. There's no reason to, and they don't deserve that. Have some dignity and pride and walk away. They've been of no help, have they? Not been of any help so far. And then when you try and be something mature, and you know, no, no, these are bad people. And I know that blood is thicker than water, but by God, man, if your past experiences have not made you break your genetic uh, programming, I don't know what will. I mean, I know I had enough, I've had enough troubles with family members in the past where fuck blood, it's water, baby. All right, another perfect example, girls. Man, you go through enough bullshit getting stood up and girls bullshit and dramatics, you're like, yeah, you know what? I mean, I am genetically programmed now that if I see a really good looking girl, it's like Danger World Robinson. Damn, you look. Hey, how you doing? But you're like, nope, that is bad news. That is bad news, Brown. It's now you get excited. You're like, ooh, be very careful. Let's, let's go over here. So, I, dude, for your own self respect and survival, you can't have anything to do with these people anymore. And you better up your fucking game. Because if you came out of the military, I don't really just trash. That means you got a GI bill. You better be in college. And you should have some kind of housing allowance. You should not be homeless. And you should know enough with your logic in the military, you need to get a job. Or get some work going on. And have a place to stay. Um, I did it before. And, yeah, you've already did it once. What makes you think it's going to work again? I did it before and though there was some of this. I surmount, surmounted it. Now I don't know. I have the leverage now. I'm not homeless or starving anymore, so I send the messages and mean it without apologizing, but I just freeze. And no, I cannot just let them slide. If you knew everything that occurred in <clears throat> this message is long enough, you wouldn't just fade into obscurity. Okay, what? You're going to call the... Dude, removing yourself is the worst thing you can do to those people because they don't got you no more. And if you lecture them or moralize them or sermon them, they're not going to give a damn. They don't care. They're not capable of morality. They're the flood. They have no brains. 
They have no ethics or moral caliber or principles. They've been using you the entire time for government money. You're not anything to them. They've abused you and treated you like shit this entire time. You are a host to their parasitism. They're parasites. You're the, that's it. That's all they viewed you as. Now, so take away the host. Go away. Bye. And you really want revenge? You really want to kick these motherfucker asses? You go become successful. And you're already on the path to doing that. Go get your engineering degree. You, you were on the path before. Great. You had a military career. And you got a 4.08. You're doing good. Black belt. Turn it around. All right? Look at, look at Ed Lattimore. I don't think he had quite the bad opportunity you did, but if you need a, a role model who, you know, I'm just dopey white guy out here, but if you would prefer to have a black role model, had contact Ed. Ed would probably love you. He could speak more directly to this. I came from nowhere near this bad of a background. I didn't come from a bad background. Marginal. Certainly nowhere near the amount of abuse this happened. I cannot even begin to relate to this. Ed Lattimore might. Maybe you go hit him up. Tell him I sent you uh, because he could speak more directly to this. But even, I don't think he had that bad of a background. Even I don't think so. Um, so you, you've you got to just get away from these people. And and the best way, you, you become an Ed Lattimore, of which there are some eerie similarities. Both military, both martial artists. He's a boxer. Uh, very intelligent. You're in STEM. He's a, a I think he's a programmer. Um, you definitely would want to talk to him. Uh, because he could guide you through this a, a little bit more than I can. Uh, but my, my larger point is, you want to get revenge? Become Ad Lattimore, version 2.0. Uh, and don't even talk to your... None. You never you never see these people until they come and apologize to you. Uh, do you have anything to do with them? But uh, you're wasting your time going and talking to the flood that, that has no brains and have no compassion or... Com uh, capability, uh, let alone desire to be moral, virtuous people who, oh, did I hurt somebody? Maybe I should make amends because I have this desire to be a good person. No, they have no problem being evil, disgusting parasites. Walk. Have nothing to do with them. Become successful. That's how you're going to get them back. That, And then you'll understand maybe when you're 30 or 40 and then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I'm kicking ass, taking names and you just don't give a shit about them. You're, you're like, yeah, look at you. You'll, you'll be amazed and how life does the punishing for you. Like all the assholes I had to tolerate. You know, I was a nerd too. All those fucking assholes. Dude, I, in my wildest dreams, I could not wreak as much havoc or damage or chaos upon them than what they did to themselves with the help of, of reality and mother nature. And it will happen. It will happen. Because you can't be a parasitic prick and have a great life. You just can't. The best you can hope for is living like in the barrio or the trailer park. And collecting a government check and hoping you don't get gonorrhea that week. Or maybe you would. I don't know you personally, but I can't. He's asking whether I could walk. I'm, I'm telling you, you don't have a choice here. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Go ahead. I mean, go tell him, text it to him. Go ahead. I'll be right. You'll be proven wrong. They're going to yell at you. And, uh, I need to speak the truth, then end it. I can't think straight, and though the thought of doing it keeps nagging me. Advice is welcome. And then you send me a bunch of other emails um, where you have like seven or eight people left to break ties with. Da da da, kind of da da da. Uh, also, Andres. Forced upon, I wasn't even disappointed. I asked him, so hi, I have a minute to talk to you. Wanted, Do you know why I grew up with instead my parents only been met with anger and yelling? Yeah, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't get past the. Do you know why I grew up with my great grandmother instead of my parents? And they started yelling at you after that. You're not, they're not capable. They're not, ca and they have no incentive. Uh, most of my family are alcoholics. I might have a gene myself. That's why I'm a teetotal. Yeah, dude, don't get involved in alcohol. Trust me, I know. Attacked, or I was being arrogant or condescending. None of these <clears throat> dude, walk away. Just walk away. And you're going to walk away one of two ways. You're going to walk away now, under your own volition, under your own control, or you're going to tell them off, and then you're just going to piss them off. Nothing good will come of it, and you're going to walk away anyway. Um, 
you, you don't have to put yourself through this because they don't deserve it. They don't deserve you going up there and saying, hey, what happened? Because they damn well know what happens. That's why they get all pissed off and guarded. How dare you ask the question why you have no father? Don't you know your mother did the most for you by signing up for all that government cheese and spreading her legs to have 15 different half-brothers and sisters, the names of which half you don't know? <laughs> Walk away. Okay? Let them mire in their own hell. You don't have to do... And, and here's what I'm worried about. You go back, you, you want some kind of... You're going to get suckered back in. And then when they find out you got money... Then when they find out you got money, oh, then you're, then, that's, you know what? When they find out you're successful, and all of a sudden they want to come back and start making amends, you contact the old captain. You know what? I'm going to charge you $10,000 for that consultation. You want to know why I'm going to charge you $10,000? That's with the military discount, because that's going to be a shit ton fuck less money than what you're going to piss away bailing out these motherfuckers. who are going to string you along on your emotions and think like, oh, you just need to borrow some money there, bro. All right, that's it. Cap, got to go upload stuff and do work and smoke a cigar. We'll see you all later. Toodles.